Hey everyone, I am Jason and today we are going to talk about decisions. Decisions in programming are if statements, else statements, else if statements. And essentially I like to think about decisions as forks in the road. Um, if is a key word that will execute a corresponding block of code if the expression evaluates to be true. Um, so if something is true, let's say it's over 75 degrees outside, then this block of code will be executed. Um, if that expression is false, let's say it's less than 75 degrees, um, else is another keyword that creates an alternative option, um, an alternative fork in the road with the corresponding alternative block of code. And this alternative block of code will be executed if the if statement was false and then the else statement is the one that's proceeding, right? Um, but you can actually provide even more options with an else if statement. And that's another keyword that provides an alternative fork in the road um, that could be used to create even more multiple options that um, might continue if the previous one is not triggered. So yeah, this really, so decisions really highlight control flow, which dictates the flow of logic, the statements and instructions in which your program should proceed, right? So you can have like different alternatives in which you want your program to proceed. So I'm going to write up some code here and I'm going to create a couple forks in the road, right? Um, I'm going to write a program that gives you a suggestion of whether to wear a sweater today or not, depending on how many degrees outside, right? So the first, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to create an integer. I'm going to create an integer. I'm going to call it X. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, prompt my user or ask my user um, how many degrees is it outside today and then I'll end that there then whatever the input I'm going to store inside the variable that I just created just like that and that's all I'm going to do inside main. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. I need to create the, the branches. So the forks in the road. So let's say if the, the integer that the input, let's say it's, of course, we call it x. If x is greater than 75, meaning it's greater than 75 degrees today, um, it's going to be a little warm. So I'm gonna see out, I'm gonna tell the user, suggest them, you do not need a sweater today, right? Then I'm gonna end that, I'm gonna end that there. Now, now I'm gonna create even more options, right? Um, I'm actually, Going to use an else if statement here to create more than two options. I'm going to create an else if statement here, and then so let's say it's not let's say it's below 75 degrees, right? It's less than 75 degrees, but also it's above 40 degrees. So it's cold, but it's not freezing cold, right? So I'm going to put an and here, and then I'm also going to put x is greater than 40. So in this situation, it's cold but not freezing cold. Um, and then I'm gonna suggest the user. I'm gonna print. I'm gonna see out. Um, you need a sweater today, right? So I'm gonna suggest them that. And then I will end it there. And then for my last option, um, I'm gonna write else and in order to be nice and neat I'm gonna indent that there else else I'm gonna prompt the user the next option and so if X is greater than 75 you do need a sweater or you don't need a sweater today if X is in between 40 and 75 then you do need a sweater today and the only thing else left is if it's even below 40 degrees. So that's going to be freezing cold. So I'm going to prompt the user 
uh, I'm gonna suggest the user you need a big sweater today and some gloves right and then I will also end this here boom great so as you can see we created three forks in the road one in which it's greater than 75 degrees one in which it's lower than or less than 75 degrees but also above 40 degrees um, and then the, the only thing else is if it's even less than 40 degrees. If it's less than 40 degrees, it's, it's freezing. Um, you need a big sweater today and some gloves. And yeah, you can you can have three different um, forks in the road here. Um, but one thing that I really wanted to highlight is that you don't need to prompt or ask the user for an integer. You can actually ask them for something a little bit more easy, user friendly, like a string. So I'm going to create another one here, um, another uh, fork in the road. Um, I'm going to create a string and I'm going to call it y. And remember that if you're using a string, you have to put include string up here. That should work. Um, and what am I going to do? I'm going to ask the user. And just to be neat, I'm going to create a new line here. I'm going to create two new lines here, just to be super neat. Is is it raining outside? Is it in, is it raining outside? I'm going to end it there. And then whatever they input, I'm going to store inside the string. Um, so I'm going to store that inside the string. What do we call it? Y. Um, and in this case, I'm only going to have two options. Um, if Y is equal to yes, um, then I'm going to print out see out you need an umbrella today and then I'm going to end that there there we are and the only only the only left alternative would be if it's not raining outside if it's not raining outside today in which you don't need an umbrella, right? So I'm going to put else, and I'm going to see out. You do not need an umbrella today, and I'm going to end that there. Boom! Great. So I'm going to run these here, hopefully they work, and then I will provide a last explanation. Let's see. Let's see, how many degrees is it outside today? Let's say it's a really hot day, it's 99 degrees, uh, you do not need a sweater today. Is it raining outside? No, it's hot today, so I'm going to put no. You do not need an umbrella today. Um, looks like I have a double Y right here. but. It should run the same. Um, now let's let's try let's try another one. Um, is it how many degrees is it outside today? Let's say it's really cold. It's like 33 degrees. You need a big sweater today and some gloves, right? Is it raining outside? Let's say it's actually really raining. So I'm going to input. I'm going to input yes. You need an umbrella today. So as you can see, we created two forks in the road. The first one when we when we asked the user for an integer, and the second one where we asked the user for a string. So this is really this is really interesting because we're actually interacting with the user and creating forks in the road in which the blocks of code, the control flow, um, can be executed. And decisions are really powerful, especially when you create this, these extensive programs. And I hope you enjoyed. I've been Jason.